Hey, what's happening guys? This is probably going to be the last video I do on the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro unless something comes up. But I figured uh, the one thing we haven't looked at yet was how it handles uh, different materials. So right now it is currently warming up, as you can see. And I've got it loaded with some black ABS. And we're going to do a little ABS print here. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to say that you really shouldn't be printing ABS without an enclosure because of the toxic fumes it's given off. Then I heard from a materials engineer who says uh, ABS doesn't give off toxic fumes, so I'm not sure. Anyway, it's stinky. Oh, there come the fans. I think another problem to worry about with ABS is the warping. Um, ABS is very temperature dependent. This isn't a very big print. This may be about 40 millimeters wide at the top. So hopefully it'll stick well enough to this PEI bed. We'll find out soon enough. Alright, while well, this prints, let's uh, talk about some other materials that I printed on the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro. I absolutely love this printer. I've begun the process of different materials through the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro. Uh, the first one we started with, beyond PLA, I mean we've run plenty of PLA through it, is uh, PETG. This is a little parametric box design to be done here in a few minutes. How long? Uh, about one minute. You can see the PETG settings I'm running are 230 degrees on the extruder and 80 degrees on the bed with 80% fan. And it's printing somewhere between 150 and 50 millimeters a second. We should just be finishing up on the end here. There it is. So here's the first print in PETG off of the uh, Neptune 4 Pro. This is just a calibration cube. This one's called what? The Rolo, you can even see that. Rolo 3D calibration cube. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. White is just hard to see. But it's fantastic. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no stringing in those holes. And look at that unbridged, uh, ceiling up in there. That's not bad at all. Corners look good. No elephant's foot. Yeah. Maybe a very slight elephant's foot. Very slight. So I got the parametric box uh, cooling down once it's done. We'll take a look at it as well. Alright, I cleaned up the box and I put it together. I painted the clasp black. So I wasn't trying to open the... Uh, the hinge all the time, which is something I could definitely see me doing and wondering why the box won't open. Yeah, it worked out really nice. Well, like I said, I don't have the proper screws, so there are just some wire studs in there. So that's going to do it for the uh, PETG. Next up, I am going to try some TPU, thermoplastic urethane. So this stuff should have some, uh, some squishiness to it. and allow us to uh, print out some flexible objects. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is super flexible. All right, I'm gonna go get this uh, loaded up on the Neptune and we'll be back. Well, we're printing the TPU here. I'm just, I, what I did is I drew up a cube in on shape and then I just rounded over all the faces so it's got kind of nice rounded corners. And you can see that we have to print the TPU much slower. So it looks like it's printing it great, no trouble at all. I mean, I, I see a little small bit of string in there. It looks like maybe some under extrusion. But we'll see when this thing is totally over. I don't think uh, the Neptune 4 Pro is going to have any trouble at all 
in uh, printing the TPU. All right, here's my little TPU cube, which looks excellent, except I should have put supports on the bottom. This is my fault, not the printer. You can see it just, it, it totally sagged there. Although, one side, I imagine this is probably the back side, which had the best cooling from all those fans. Looks okay. And you can also see the uh, Z seam right here looks pretty good. It printed it excellent. And I love the fact that this is like squishy. Yeah, I got a little, little layer separation there when I squeeze it too much. But, uh, yeah, it had no trouble printing the TPU whatsoever. Okay, here's our ABS uh, Lego-style minifigure. Excuse me. Grab a pair of pliers over here. Let's see if we can't remove this support material here. It's a little tough. Alright, give me a minute. I'll be back. Alright, I've been fighting for a while. And losing somewhat. In getting the support material off of this ABS. But yeah, the Neptune 4 had no trouble printing this whatsoever. It has come out beautiful. Once I get the rest of this. Support material off with this incredibly dangerous karambit uh, razor blade holder. That if you're not paying attention and you accidentally put your finger up here, yeah, that's going to hurt and it's going to be bloody. So remember, always cut towards your chum, not towards your thumb. <laughs> so, yeah, the Neptune 4 Plus can handle anything you throw at it. What a great printer. I am really enjoying it, and I'd like to thank Elegoo once again for sending it out for us to have a look at. I know they're hard to get right now, but in a month or so, there's going to be a lot more of them in the United States, and everybody can get their hands on one if they want. So, All right, guys, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Elegoo. Big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.